Hey guys, thank you so much for being here. If you're tuning into this video, maybe you're just curious as to what some good little drugstore makeup products are for yourself, or maybe you're in desperation mode and you're just looking for those little things to round out a gift or throw in a stocking or whatever. I've got some things that are well within the drugstore price range that would work for anyone. I truly think they would be pleasing and workable for anyone on your list. They don't require you to be a pro at selecting someone's perfect shade. They don't require any like added craftiness to make them look cute. Although you can always throw your own special spin on things. I've done some stocking stuff for videos in the past where I've really gone through how to do some cute little packaging ideas and whatnot. But this year I'm personally coming in tune with desperation mode a little bit myself here. And I'm all about those things that don't require a lot of extra work. One of those things that is so adorable, the little Real Techniques mini brushes that they're doing. I found mine at the end of an aisle in Walmart. And this is the Expert Face Brush, the actual Expert Face Brush, but they're just doing it in a mini sized handle. And they will even point out on this cute little outer box that it comes in, whether it's a full-size brush head or not. And this is the full-size brush head on a mini handle. It works great. Like this is an awesome brush for blending out your foundations. Cream, liquid, even powder foundations could work nicely with this. You could dab over your concealer with it. It's just a little bit pinched in here at the top. It could make a great cream contour brush if you wanted to, but it's just a short little guy and it's great. I've been using mine for weeks now. Zero shedding. When you're giving a Real Techniques item, I think you can kind of trust that it's going to be pretty darn good quality. So so amazing softness. Like I said, they do have a couple of other brush varieties, but the Expert Face Brush is absolutely a can't miss item. Now, while I'm on Real Techniques, I want to mention something that I had been asked about sitting right back here in my videos. This little pink thing, this is a Real Techniques like silicone brush holder and it's clinging to my mirror. You can go back and see that this has been up here for weeks, maybe more than that, maybe a couple months now. It has not come down at all. I do use it. I take brushes in and out of it. It works great. It can obviously be wiped down and cleaned off very easily. Real Techniques is also selling, I think, maybe a divided like three cup one as well. For anyone who's trying to save a little bit of countertop or desktop space, this guy just clings right onto your mirror and clearly does a very effective job at it since it has not fallen down one time or even come close. So I think that would be a nice little kind of unusual, maybe off the beaten path stocking stuffer for the makeup lover that you know. Here's another can't miss item, the NYX blending sponge, which was mentioned in the Emily Awards. This is a great little sponge. Even if you know someone who is a diehard Beauty Blender fan, just, just throw this their direction and see what happens. Because this is combining, as I've said before, the best of a couple of worlds. You've got your flat edge, much like a Real Techniques sponge, but then you've got the rounded bottom of a Beauty Blender. It's super duper soft. You get it wet under the sink, you wring it out, it will grow a little bit, it will be even softer, and then you can use it to bounce your foundation in, or a really great way to use use this too. Put your finger where the flat side is. Let that curve just reach every little area around the inner part of your eye. It works so nicely in that manner. Maybe you like to use the flat side to blend things out or to bake with. I find it to be just an awesome multi-purpose type thing. Like you're going to keep using it and keep uncovering new ways that you like to use it. Here's another little diamond in the rough. This Ulta Beauty Cooling Aloe Vera um, Refreshing Gel Eye Mask. I remember raving on this months ago. Bought quite a few of them and I absolutely love them. They are a great feeling at the end of a long day and you want something after you've taken your makeup off. You just put these little patches on and they feel so cooling, so rejuvenating. It says calming aloe vera, hydrating hyaluronic acid, and soothing vitamin E. They're not goopy or gooey or anything. They're just like these nice little patches that you just put on right here and once you take them off to the sensation, the cooling sensation that you have here versus, you know, just the rest of your face is so amazing. It's really great. Um, and I have tested, I think I told you guys I was going to test some different masks that Ulta makes. They had some different holiday ones. Honestly, I was kind of underwhelmed by a lot of them. But the Refreshing Gel Eye Mask, the Cooling Aloe Vera, definitely a great item. And for men too, I mean, why not? They just feel fantastic. Oh, and did I say you leave them on for 30 minutes? So it's a, it's a nice little treatment. Finally, I want to shout out to a little bargain palette. And I don't know how you feel about giving a real low cost palette. I think you think about the people on your list and think about those who you would brag to about getting a really good deal on something. Does anybody have that person in their life who really appreciates when you saved a buttload of money on something or like it was
was so cheap, but it's so good. That's kind of what this next one is about. Or maybe it's just like for your own curiosity's sake, you want to get it and try it yourself. But LA Colors has been doing some good things with eyeshadows. Months back, I did the video on the little duos that were just killing it, like great quality drugstore eyeshadow duos. Well, they've got a couple little palettes out that are called Eye Struck Smoky. Actually, this one's the Eye Struck Smoky, and this is the Eye Struck Naked. They're available at Walgreens for $8. They come all like boxed up, you know, a little over packaged for what they are, like they didn't need to come in a giant plastic tray, but they do. But these are 12 color eyeshadow palettes that are actually quite nice. I am wearing the Eye Struck Smoky today. It's got a couple of really nice cranberry shades in here, one that has a bit more pink, one that's a little more rusty. A surprisingly amazing black for like a palette like this. You wouldn't necessarily be expecting to pick up a great black, but that's in here. Some nice bronzy metallics. This brown up here, this kind of camely color, it does have some nice warmth to it. And I feel like this palette can kind of go a little bit warm or cool depending on what mix of shades you use. It's in kind of a plasticky tray here, so it's, you know, it's not super luxe. But the shadows in here are creamy and smooth and really, really nice. So I like this one. This one has a little more shimmer in it. In this one, you're basically getting six shimmers and six mattes. And then in the Eye Struck Naked, you're only getting um, four shimmery shades in here. You're getting this kind of orangey, like peaches and cream type color, which is kind of interesting. A cooler shimmer with this taupe down here and nice warm kind of russet brown. Champagne-y shimmery shade up here. Nice pigmentation, nice smoothness in these colors. Just kind of surprising, you know, your neighborhood Walgreens for $8. If you hold out till after the holidays, it'll probably be marked down to like 50 cents afterward. But I just wanted to share that because I can definitely appreciate a drugstore bargain. You know that's one of the greatest pleasures I take in the makeup world. It's finding something really low cost that turned out to surprise me and be that little diamond in the rough. So check these out. LA Colors doing a good job with their eyeshadows. And LA Colors has frankly done a good job with a lot of things lately. I'm thinking about their Truly Matte Foundation. I'm thinking about that um, Mineral Pressed Powder. Those eyeshadow duos as I mentioned. So yeah, definitely worth checking out. So those my friends are just some little last minute stocking stuffer type ideas, drugstore price range. I'd love to hear your suggestions in the comments section. Like what's that last little thing that just puts the cherry on top of a gift that you're giving? Or what things would you like to find in your stocking on Christmas day? There are so many individual things that I mentioned like in the Emily Awards. Throw in an infallible pro matte gloss. Throw in a Bessemer lipstick. There are so many little easy makeup-y things you can do for small gifts, but a lot of them do require some shade selection. And if you're not comfortable doing that for someone else, um, the things that I mentioned here I think are no-brainers. And even these eye palettes, yeah, they do have colors in them, but they're so basic and so easy and happen to be really nice quality. So thank you guys for your time. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season so far. Public service announcement here. While you're rushing around, don't forget to be careful on the road. Take your time, like keep your mind in the game. Don't be looking at your phone. Don't text and drive and be careful just going down the stairs. When you've got eight zillion things on your mind, go down your stairs carefully because I'm the one who broke my foot on Halloween night. Being in a boot for a month was not pleasant, but I'm reminding myself of this as much as everyone else, like slow down, enjoy what you're doing and remember the reason why you're doing what you're doing. So thank you guys and I will see you soon. Bye.